a very large percentage of the whole world possess a telephone but do you know the history of the telephone when the very first telephone in the whole world was invented who invented the telephone and why he invented the telephone the history is not far-fetched let's take a look into it the scottish born alexander Ga graham who lived between 1847 and 1922 developed the world's first working telephone that's a wow in case you don't know the telephone was developed by the scottish born alexander graham bell like i said he lived between 1847 and 1922 before we delve so deep into these if you're new to the platform and you find this content educative and this channel interesting kindly smash the like button and subscribe to the channel turn on post notification and pass your comment in the comment box the first very telephone in the whole world received a patent from the united states patent office on the 7th of march year 1876 reputably the very first successful world using his new instrument bell called it instrument was spoken by him to his associate thomas watson who was out of airshot in another room mr watson come here i want to see you that was the very first word on the world's f first telephone now let's look at graham's family background graham's grandfather father and uncle are all elocutionist a mother and a wife who were deaf led him to obsessively research hearing and speech so he had a mother and a wife who were both deaf which made graham to research into hearing and speech eventually his work with deaf people and years of experimentation into acoustic and human voice culminated in the momentous invention of a phenomenal change in the whole world meanwhile 2022 marks a centenary after his death that's pretty pretty cool it is a live lived you know well graham lived a very very wonderful life before he departed the world because he invented something that is phenomenal in the whole world in the 1870s elisha gray and alexander graham independently designed devices that could transmit speech electrically both men rushed their respective designs for these prototype telephones to the patent office within hours of each other bell patented his telephone first and later emerged the victor in legal disputes with gray today bell's name is synonymous with the telephone while gray is largely forgotten however the story of which and who invented the telephone goes beyond these two men by october 1874 bell's research had progressed to the extent that he could inform his future father-in-law boston Artney, boston Artney, gardiner green Hubbard, about the possibility of a multiple telegraph Hubbard, who resented the absolute control then exerted by the western union telegraph company instantly saw the potential for breaking such a monopoly and gave bell the financial backing he needed meanwhile Bell proceeded with his work on the multiple telegraph which he did not tell Hubbard that he and Thomas Watson who was then a young electrician whose services, whose services he had enlisted were also developing a device that would transmit speech electrically. Meanwhile Watson worked on the harmonic telegraph as the insistence origin of Hubbard and other backers. Bell secretly met in March 1875 with Joseph Henry, the respected director of Smithsonian Institution, who listened to Bell's idea for a telephone and offered encouraging words. Now let's look at Mr. Watson. Come here. 
On June 2, on June 2, 1875, while experimenting with the ammonic telegraph, the men discovered that sound could be transmitted over a wire completely by accident. Mr. Watson was trying to loosen a reed that had been wound around a transmitter when he plucked it by accident. The vibration produced by the gesture traveled along the wire into a second device in the other room where Bell was walking. The twang Bell heard was all the inspiration that he needed and what he needed also to accelerate their work. They continued to work into the next year. Bell recounted the critical moments in his journal. I then shouted into the mouthpiece the following sentence. Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. To my delight, according to Bells, he came and declared that he had heard and understood what I said. The first telephone call had just been made. Put that in your jota. On the 2nd of June, year 1875, the very first telephone call was made. The telephone network. Bell patented his device on March 7, 1876, and it quickly began to spread. By 1877, construction of the first regular telephone line from Boston to Somerville, Massachusetts, had been completed. By the end of 1880, there were over 49,000 telephones in the United States. The following year, Telephone service between Boston and Providence, Rhode Island had been established. Service between New York and Chicago started in 1892 and between New York and Boston in 1894. Transcontinental service began in the year 1915. Bell founded his Bell Telephone Company in the year 1877 as the industry rapidly expanded. Bell quickly bought out competitors. After a series of mergers, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, the forerunner of today's AT&T, was incorporated in the year 1880. Because Bell controlled the intellectual property and patents behind the telephone system, AT&T had a de facto monopoly over the young industry and it would maintain its control over the U.S. telephone market until the year 1984. When a settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice forced AT&T to end its control over the state's market. In the year 1889, the coin-operated telephone was patented by William Gray of Hartford in Connecticut. Gray's payphone was first installed and used in the Hartford Bank. Unlike payphones today, users of Gray phone paid after they had finished their call. Payphones proliferated along with the bell system. By the time the first phone booths were installed in 1905, there were about 2.2 million phones by 1980. There were more than 175 million now. But with the advent of mobile technology, the public demand for payphones rapidly declined, and today there are fewer than 500,000 500, still operating in the United States. Several developments have been made to phones and a whole lot of them. As we all can see now, everyone could you know, have access to a cell phone these days and so far so good the use of telephone and technology has been made easy telephone has made the life is easier for the common person to communicate now is quite easier with the telephone well kudos to graham bells for that to enjoy more of our content kindly subscribe hit the like button and pass your comment in the comment box thank you